Hey, Business Calculus students. We're going to find consumer and, produ and producer surplus given this demand line and the supply line. So just as a reminder here, this is the demand curve. So notice the higher the price, the, fewer, the lower the quantity that consumers will buy. But here's the supply line. Notice that the higher the price is, the more that suppliers will supply. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the equilibrium price and quantity. So in other words, we need to find that point. So that means we need to set demand and supply equal to each other. So this is 15 equals 3 halves Q. This means Q equals 10. And you can check P equals 15. All right, so what do we mean by consumer surplus? Well, as you read in the book, when we're talking about consumer surplus, what we're doing is we're talking about the difference between how much consumers spend, the area under this curve, and how much they spend at the equilibrium price. So what we're really talking about is this area right here. So in particular, you can think of this as the area under the line up to 10 minus the area of this rectangle. So how can we compute that? So consumer surplus is going to be the integral of our demand curve from 0 to the equilibrium quantity. So 0 to 10, because that's the equilibrium quantity, we want to integrate 20 minus 1 half Q dQ. And from that, that's going to give us the area under this green line. But we want to subtract off this area right here. And that's going to be the equilibrium price, which is 15 times the quantity. So it's going to be 15 times 10. And if you multiply that out, that's going to be 25. We think about this as expressing the fact that the consumers save a total of $25 by paying the equilibrium price instead of paying higher prices up here. Let's do the same thing with the producer surplus. Now we're talking about this area. Since the consumers are willing to pay this price, that means the suppliers are getting this extra money. And the way we're going to think of that is we're going to think of that as the area in this rectangle minus the area under the red line. So the area in the rectangle will be 15 times 10 minus the integral from 0 to the equilibrium quantity of 10 of our supply curve, which is Q plus 5 dQ. And let's see, that's going to come out to 50. So in other words, that's what the suppliers gain because of the equilibrium price. The price has been set above these regions here. So the suppliers make out. So in particular, we think that the equilibrium price helps both consumers and suppliers. The consumers in this case have saved a total of $25 by paying a lower price than many of them were willing to pay. And the producers have gained $50 by selling for a higher price than they were possibly going to sell for. So both have gained through trade. We'll do another example like this in class on Wednesday.